Hello YouTube, welcome back to the channel. So I thought this would be kind of a fun one. I usually don't do any of these video responses ones and generally I just, I see them and it's one of those things where I'm interested in seeing the videos that come out of it, but I don't participate in them too often because a lot of times the prompts uh, don't really strike me. But I thought this was a fun one. So Rick Vintage Oddball Cards asked to show our favorite or worst or whatever beater card, I guess. And I do have a good example that I've actually shown on the live stream a number of times, but I thought this would be a good opportunity to show it again. I've done it, I think, with the set, but I've also done it on the live stream, but this will be a good opportunity to do it in in a more high definition than a lot of the other instances where I've shown it. So we'll be able to get a good look at the card. One other thing before I get into the meat of the video here showing the card is going to be that I do want to thank folks that gave feedback on the last video that I did where I talked about the possibility of putting together some kind of a... Um, I guess I'll call it a podcast. I don't really think it is. It's YouTube anyway. So at least some kind of a show that I'll probably do talking about a little bit more of the wrestling card side of things. Uh, the consensus pretty much across the board was do it on the same channel. It'll be easier to find for folks, even for folks that subscribe to the other channel. It'll be easier to find on the one channel. More people who want to see it will be able to see it and people that aren't interested in it will be able to skip past it. And I generally agree with that. And since it's still talking about cards and this isn't, uh, you know, because I'm called sports cards, it's not that particular. I do have a little room to, put, to go into it, and I'll label it appropriately so that if you do want to skip past it, you certainly can. So I think uh, I'll keep workshopping it a little bit here. I've got a kind of an idea what I want to do. So that'll be probably coming very soon. Could be even as, as soon as this week if I've got my topic for the week figured out. But I'll, I'll have a little bit of fun with it, uh, and maybe I'll invite some people to join me on it as time goes by. So that'll be kind of part of the plan. So let's get into the meat and potatoes of this one. Rick Vintage Oddball Cards said he wanted to see some of our, I guess, best or favorite beater, whatever the case may be. So more of a destroyed card, a card that has seen better days. So first I'm going to show one that is not the card in question, but it is the card in question. You'll get it, you'll get it in a second. So this is my 1954 Bowman Mickey Mantle. This is the one that I've got as part of my set. But those of you who are familiar know that this is my second copy of the 1954 Bowman Mickey Mantle. So I'm going to put that here to the side. My original copy, the first copy that I had, so let's move this here. My first copy that I ever had, I actually picked up back in the 90s. And it was uh, over in a visit, uh, over to Massachusetts. Uh, visited a hobby friend of mine at the time. I got a chance to see an amazing collection of a lot of great vintage cards. And this was the first Mickey Mantle card that I ever purchased. And I bought it back then for the whopping sum, the princely sum of $35. And um, I don't know if it's even worth that, really. But at the same time, uh, this one's the one that stays in the collection. This will obviously be the one that's part of the set. But this is the other copy. So it's also a 1954 Bowman Mickey Mantle. So you can kind of see the contrast there. So what do we got here? We got a missing corner. Uh, we got a couple of creases. You know, it's uh, it's subtle. You might have to adjust it in the light a little bit to fully see the creases. Might be a little bit of an indent there on his head. You got tape holding this part. You got tape holding this part. And this is long ago tape. This has been on for a very long time. I've had this since about the mid-90s. And I haven't touched or done anything to it. So right now, the, regardless, this tape was already on there. Um you know, almost 30 years ago. So then we go move over to the back and you can see it's uh, mangled here on the edge, a little bit on the side, you can see that. We got, like I said, the corner is completely clipped. Uh, you can still more or less read it. So that's why I wanted to record it here with the camera, at least this is a little higher depth. So you can in fact read it and make out what it says. So you can see, this is what it's supposed to say. That's more or less what it's supposed to look like. So even for a one, by the way, this is technically a poor condition card as well. So I kind of like having it as a contrast for the spectrum of this is a poor condition card and technically so is this so i just thought that was kind of always a fun contrast so anyway so you can see there you can make out the statistics the tape goes over to the other side you got the crease that goes all the way down the middle so probably uh this would be torn in two if it wasn't for that paper loss here you got all this going on over here but nonetheless it is a a true 1954 bowman mickey mantle and i guess it certainly qualifies as a beater but it was the first mantle card i ever had and this is one that's going to stay in the collection it is a keeper uh, down the road, I may eventually even upgrade this card here, although I do like this card as well. And if I do, then this card would go, but then this one will stick around. Regardless, uh, this copy is going to stay with me. But there you go. That is my uh, entry or my uh, contribution to the idea of the beater card here. And this certainly qualifies. I've got a few other ones that probably would qualify as well, but this one's a personal favorite. It at least has a little bit of a story to go along with it. So anyway, there you go. So hopefully you enjoyed that be back with more videos on the channel as i'm starting to work through some things i've actually been uh, i'll be honest just off screen if you you can't see it Let's see if i can put it out of the corner of the screen got a little box here that i'm working on uh, a bunch of ebay lots and things that i've been moving some stuff buying some stuff what's funny is the videos have slowed down but at the same time i've actually been uh, buying and selling sports cards the last little while working on a lot of that but it just hasn't been topic worthy of a, of a video a standalone video on its own but i will be back with some more videos coming up on the channel of course the live stream will still be happening friday 8 p.m eastern time 
I think we'll talk a little bit of World Baseball Classic this week. So I think that'll be some fun since some of the games have been happening. That's been good. And at the same time, uh, finally, our long national nightmare is over. And uh, somebody over there, number 12 in Green Bay, finally came to the conclusion that uh, several of us did already. So I'll spend a little bit of time talking about that. But at the same time, I'm also kind of hoping that the teams can figure out the terms so we can find out exactly what the conditions are uh, that we're going to be looking under. So I guess the Jordan Love era has started in Green Bay. So I think that'll be very interesting and it'll be a little topic in itself in addition to whatever else we want to talk about. Anyway, that's it for me this time around. So hopefully, uh, so hopefully you catch this one, Rick. And thank you for uh, putting together, uh, bringing up a fun topic and give me another excuse to bring out the the 54 Bowman Mantle that I've had here for the longest. Regardless, with that said, like if you like the video, subscribe to the channel. Thanks very much. And we'll catch you in the next one.